What's up guys, this is Mike the Detroit Borg with a look at how to upgrade the RAM inside your mid-2011 Mac Mini. Now Apple charges $100 to upgrade from 2 gigs to 4 gigs and $300 to get to 8 gigs. But you can do an 8 gig upgrade for less than $100 yourself. Now the first thing to know about the Mac Mini is it has only two RAM slots and they're both 204 pin SODIMM slots. Now to get this module, I'm going through Crucial. They're definitely one of my favorite online sellers. And we're looking for the 8 gig upgrade kick, which is the highest they have. So at 8 gigs, we have the 4 gig by 2. So there are two 4 gig chips. And they're both DDR3 PC3 10600 memory modules running at 1333 megahertz. Now the Mac Mini couldn't be any easier to open. No tools are required. All you need are your two thumbs. Basically flip the Mac Mini on its back, stick your thumbs into the slot, rotate to the unlocked position, and allow the plate to fall off. Now the old RAM chips are stacked on top of each other and they're held in with these metal clasps on either side. In order to get them out, all you have to do is spread those metal clasps apart and then will automatically spring up and you can pull them out. Now before installing our chips, we want to make sure they're in the right orientation. Now it's pretty easy to determine this thanks to the notch on the chips themselves. That lines up with a notch that's on the SODIMM slot. Now you're ready to install your new chips and all you have to do is slide them in above the metal brackets they fasten into. Make sure you make a complete connection at the SODIMM slot. I usually rock it back and forth to make sure it's in all the way. If you don't, they won't register with the computer. Now push them down and they will snap into place and repeat the process for the one above it. Now we're not done quite yet, we just want to verify that those memory modules have been installed and are working correctly. So go ahead and fasten the cover back onto your computer, power it up, and go to your Apple logo in the upper left corner and go to About This Mac. Now you should see 8 gigabyte. If you don't, go to More Info, go to System Report, go to memory and there you should see the two banks of memory slots so if you only see one working maybe one hasn't been seated correctly or one is faulty so you may have to go back into the computer and fiddle with it so now that we have a successful installation of our memory what we want to do is run some benchmarks now i've already done some benchmarks when we only had two gigs so we're going to see if there's any major performance improvement First up, we're going to take a look at our Geekbench scores. Now, with only 2 gigs, the Mac Mini scored 6,900. But with 8 gigs, it scored about 7,000. So that's a pretty marginal increase. It's not a big deal. That's certainly not the whole story. Now, next up, let's take a look at the gaming performance of the Mac Mini with the additional RAM. Now, because the Mac Mini has an integrated graphics processor, which is sharing RAM with the main memory, adding more main memory gives you more RAM for graphics. So with 2 gigs, we only had 288 megs. But with 8 gigs, we have 512 megs. So how does this translate to overall gaming performance? Now, if we look at our Cinebench scores, we can see that that RAM upgrade did absolutely nothing to help that score. So we go from 11.95 frames per second with 2 gigs to 12.04 frames per second with 8 gigs. Now, this is to be expected largely because RAM doesn't necessarily increase gaming performance. RAM is largely useful if a game requires more RAM to run optimally without sacrificing overall performance. So a game like StarCraft 2, which requires 512 megs for textures to be on high, can be run at that setting with no performance drawback. Now the benefits of adding more RAM can be best illustrated when loading a bunch of apps all at the same time. Now you saw what happened with only 2 gigs of RAM. Things got really slow, the system bogged down, in fact it actually froze on me and many apps refused to load. But with 8 gigs it has no problem. It doesn't necessarily do it more quickly because of that slow 5400 RPM hard disk drive, but it actually loads them all at the same time and you can operate them more freely. This is something you can't do with only 2 gigs because there isn't enough RAM to go around between all of those apps. So if you have a lot of uh, memory intensive apps like Final Cut Pro or Photoshop and you want to run them all at the same time, you're definitely going to want to upgrade your RAM. Alrighty guys, that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again in the next video.